Welcome to another episode of Bubba's Tango 18. I'm Bubba and this is our build. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our intentions of what we're doing with the breast hook, what we're doing with the railing, the coping, and how we're bringing all that in together to end here at the breast hook. We're not doing any actual work today. I'm just talking about our plans and what we're going to do here in the next week. I'm just getting back into working on the project again after about four weeks off and this is what we're going to look at. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. So I'm filming today with two cameras. I haven't done this in a long time, probably at least six months or so. But what I wanted to do today, we've got, we, we, we put the breast hook, well, we plan on using for the breast hook, I should say, and inlaid it in between the sides of the boat. Uh, we sanded all the edges down. Um, it fits nice and tight underneath. And it fits in here good. So today, so today I wanted to lay out my plan for this breast hook. I've seen lots of different ideas. I've had some great ideas in my head of how I want to incorporate the breast hook into the rails. The rails on this boat are, we'll say half inch by two inch. I feel like I've used them all. Oh, here's one. My intention early on was not to use these in, in the project. And they go on here like this, hopefully it's in frame. Um, inside and out. I've seen people put blocks. We'll say this is the side of the boat. They'll put blocks every you know foot and then put another piece. That gives you a place to pass a line down below, down through the uh, the rail, and uh, maybe to a cleat on the inside or to to put a uh, a knot in the end of the line and use it as a uh, so it won't pull through for for a fender something along those lines. So this is what I'm ultimately going for, but I am not going with, I want to use this same size stock, but what I'm going to use, I'm going to use black walnut and a lighter, I haven't bought it yet. So black walnut is one wood and then a lighter, maybe a hard maple a lighter color wood, something close, probably closer to this Okume. Um, so I want to do contrasting, and this might be a little wide. I think it's, I think the dimensions are inch and five eighths by seven sixteenths. I've talked to a couple of mills that will do it for me, local mills, and rip it down. But I'm going to do contrasting colors, I believe. So dark light, dark light, dark light. And I'm going to bring it down. I want to do it like, you know, do a nice, a nice rail with a coping. But how, the question is, how do I incorporate that into my breast hook? And what I want, and what I want to do. So what I want to do is that I would like to have uh, the rail come up a little bit higher on the sides. I'd like to plane this down to meet that rail so it's, instead of being curved with the hull, um, uh, 90 degrees to the, 90 degrees to the hull, I would like to taper it that way, if we can picture that, and carry that down all the way through. Now, how does that work with the breast hook and what does that mean for the breast hook? Is it gonna be higher than the breast hook? I would like to do a, a filler piece on top of the, the end grain of the Okume and bring, you know, bring that up. So if I had dark light, dark light, dark light, I would, whatever color went on top of this, I'd like to rip a strip and glue it down on top of this end grain of the Okume. So oh, you wouldn't see the Okume at all. So it would be, you know, the hardwoods um, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, working all the way across. Put a, a quarter inch or a, a quarter, quarter, not quarter inch, quarter round over bit 
on my router and route down the edge. So, so bring it up here, it would come on top of, of uh, my breast hook and then ultimately blend together. That's my thought process. In addition to that, and what I was going to really work through and lay out today, I want to do a recessed cleat right up in here. Maybe the same shape, maybe the same shape as as the uh, as the, the, the where the bow comes to a point here, and. You know, do something that, and I don't know if you can see that on in camera, but you know, this is probably as far as freehand goes, it probably isn't half bad. So, this is the shape right here. Keep that on and round over the corner here, round over the corner, and then round out here. So then I would take my router and I will, or jigsaw or whatever the case, after this is symmetrical, and cut this piece out. Then I would take another piece of, of ply, of okume, hold that thought. So then what I would do is after I cut this piece out, I would go underneath, put this down below, this way, and glue it to the underside of this breast hook top piece. And doing that, I would create this recess. My, the recess idea is so I would have a clean, flush look when I put a cleat in here. I would also like to do a recess cleat, or one of those spring-loaded cleats. So you can lock that, or press that down, lock that in place. It would be uh, flush, just a, a, a nice, clean look. I would have the rub rail over on top, over on top, over on top curves around, matches the curve here, comes down the other side, and then just becomes my rail all the way down. So that is my idea. That's what I would like to do. And I think that would look pretty sharp. What do you think? You can leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Recessed cleat, recessed area. Does it retain a little bit of water? Do I drill a hole? create some sort of a uh, lead tray or something down below to catch the water through a spout and dump it out the anchor locker door or anchor locker panel. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that, talk about what I'm going to be doing here, um, what details I'm aiming for, and how I want to achieve those, those details ultimately. Along with the breast hook inlaid in here and the rail coping put on top, I also want to maybe think about a radius, a radius into this panel. You know, I've got some room with how this sits in here. I still want to have an overhang, so a drip edge, if you will, over top of my anchor locker uh, panel. But I would still like to put some, some a small, you know, just a, a nice radius in there.